Traders, I am super jazzed this morning. You want to know why? Up near 6% off of two trades to end off the month and start off the week. And I know what you're asking yourself, Mike, how could you even do that? How, how is that even possible? Well, I risk 2% per trade and I'm trading bounces off of daily horizontal levels and I'm controlling risk while doing it. That's how I do it. And I'm going to show you right now the trading setups and I'm going to show you live time how I called it out with my premium members. So we're going to go to my Discord server really quickly. And this is the premium analysis channel that I only share with my premium members. And this is basically just showing exclusive setups and trade orders that I provide with them. So we can see I'm not one of these typical Forex influencers who shows you the results after the fact, but I don't show you the trade order when I place it. We can see right here, a buy order on AUDCHF. I just placed a buy order. We've printed two very strong bullish wicks around a major daily support zone. The most recent candle was a strong bullish hammer, which triggered the entry. And this was 227 at 1104 AM. There's no edited message. It's not manipulated or anything like that. So I'm not one of these typical Forex influencers. I actually provide my orders live time. I'm the most transparent trader in the game. So now we're going to go to trading view and actually see the setup. So on the daily time frame, we can see we have a super clear horizontal support zone that was respected as support in the past. Wicked here multiple times as support and resistance. And when we came down here and just printed some type of bullish price action around the significant daily horizontal level, I was expecting some type of bounce towards the upside. We're going to go down to the hourly time frame and actually see the price action that triggered the entry. So we could see um, when we actually pushed into the zone the first time, we left a very strong bottom heavy wick, a nice bullish wick, and the position of the, of the real body closed near the top of the candle. Then we tried to wipe out the previous lows again, but what were we left with? A bottom heavy wick, position of the real body closing near the top of the candle. So we could see every single time that we try to push past these previous lows or try to wipe out the zone, we're failing to close past the zone and we're being left with bullish wicks and bullish candle closures. That's giving us a good idea that price could potentially head back towards the upside. So that's what actually triggered the entry. And a lot of people may have not stayed in this trade, right? We could see that when we initially entered the trade, we could see that we actually swayed around the zone multiple times, tested the previous lows again, failed to actually wipe out the lows. And we printed these nice bullish wicks yet again. I'm going to remove these drawings. And then once we actually pushed away from the lows, then we came back, tried to wipe out these previous highs, failed, came back to test these previous lows yet again. And what were we left with? bullish wicks in the position of the body closing near the top of the candle. That's giving us good indication that price is having a difficult time wiping out these previous lows and we're still bouncing at this zone. That's why it's very important to understand how to analyze price action and market structure when you're trading bounces off of daily horizontal levels. If you could analyze those two things effectively, you will be completely fine trading simply in the markets. So we can see every single time that we tried to wipe out these previous lows, we were left with these bullish wicks, and then we ended up making that steep push towards the upside. And we can see, I didn't even close this at take profit. I closed at the close this a little bit earlier just because I had huge profits on GBP NZD. And like I said, we closed near 6% profits for the day. So I was completely fine closing out at this point in time on the chart. So we ended up yielding around, I believe 1.87% on AUD CHF. And like I said, we closed out the month at 14.3%. So the last two months combined have been near 25% of profit because last month we had 10.85% in January. And then we had 14.3% to close out February. And I, call, I called out every single one of these trades live time with my premium members. And I could just go back into the Discord and show you the next trading setup that I called out right here on GBP NZD. So it was a sell order on GBP NZD. It was yesterday at 9.04 AM. And I called this actually in my daily live trading session. I host a daily live trading session every single day with my premium members where we just go over chart analysis, where I'm looking to take positions in the market, what positions or what trades they want me to look over. And we just ask questions and we have a really good time. I just placed a sell order on GBP NZD. Price has extended deep into this major daily zone. That has been respected as support and resistance in the past, yada, yada, yada. Let's go into the actual trade order because this one was a breadwinner. So we're gonna go in the daily time frame. of course. That's where I start all of my analysis on is the daily time frame. And this is just a super, super clear zone. A lot of people ask, what type of zones are you looking for? This is the epitome of a perfect daily zone that I'll be looking for to trade off of. So we can see we've respected this zone as support and resistance in the past. And and we just have clear intent with direction at this zone, meaning every single time that we come to this zone, we have a clear impulse towards the upside or towards the downside. 
barely ever break through the zone. We usually always bounce. So every, so I was just pretty much just waiting for price to extend into the zone. And I was looking for bearish price action to look for potential downside movement. So now we're going to go down to the hourly time frame, and we're going to get a better idea of what trigger an entry here. So we can see very similar to AUDCHF. When we initially pushed into the zone, we had a nice little uh, bearish wick, giving us a good indication that price was having a difficult time closing past the zone. We were led with some bearish candles. And then what ended up happening? Price tried to extend past these previous highs and what were we left with a top heavy wick and the position of the real body closing near the bottom of the candle that's what ended up triggering an entry for me a top heavy wick position of the real body closing near the top of the candle but you could notice that we didn't enter after the first rejection right we entered after multiple rejections a second candle a third candle showing us that price was failing to wipe out the previous highs and we ended up being left with top heavy wicks into the position of the body closing near the bottom of the candle. So what ended up happening? This ended up hitting take profit in two candles. And could you imagine if I held this thing? I was actually talking about um, this with my, my premium members this morning in the live session. If I held this, I would have made near $15,000. I ended up making around three and a half or $4,000 on this trade. 3.8% um, gain, which is completely awesome. So if you add 3.8, to 1.87%, that's near 5.6 or 5.7% profit um, for the day. Literally for yesterday, I closed out 5.8% percent profit to close out the month of February. And these were just super clear uh, bounces off of daily horizontal levels. They're not super complicated Fibonacci retracements, moving averages, MACD, RSI, fundamental. You, you don't have to focus on all those things. You could literally just trade bounces off of daily horizontal levels, just like these trading setups and get profit from it. It's very important to know you don't need a super complex trading system to trade the foreign exchange market. You just don't. This is a beautiful example of showing that exactly. So this video is basically just to tell you not only that I'm profitable, but that I have a premium membership to give you a better idea of how you should be marking up zones. You could have complete access to me, give you comprehensive PDFs, join our daily live trading sessions. We would love to have you in it. And you could even get a better idea of what positions I'm placing in the market by having access to my own trade orders live time. And also it gives you a better idea of the trades that I'm placing in the market, right? I place these trades live time with my premium members and it gives you a better idea of what trades you should be looking for in the market if you're looking to trade bounces off of daily horizontal levels. So I just wanted to hop on here and do this YouTube video just to give you a better idea that you could trade simply in the foreign exchange market. And it's never been more practical to trade bounces off of daily horizontal levels. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.